So I know there's the burning of the Library of Alexandria where they lost a lot of the information. Yeah. But I think that might have been a book heist. Really? Yeah, I think the burning of the Library of Alexandria was a heist. The burning did happen, don't get me wrong, but that was just a distraction to steal the knowledge and that the majority of that knowledge ended up in the, the Vatican, Vatican archives. I know, and you're going to see the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the I Vatican believe. is one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I, I went there with my family a few years back, mm. and I was blown away. And I highly recommend it to anybody that that gets to go to Rome. Mm-hmm. If you go to Rome, please go to the Vatican. Yeah. It's stunning. Yeah, it's stunning all the artwork they have, and they also have an Egyptian obelisk. Yes, right which in is the crazy. center. And you know that obelisk, that courtyard is the same courtyard as Teotihuacan. If you look at Teotihuacan, you mean the dimensions? Not, not the dimensions, but just the actual shape of that courtyard. It matches the courtyard of Teotihuacan. So, really? Yeah, it's an incredible coincidence that they built it based on the Teotihuacan, where the Avenue of the Dead has those platforms, and then you have the Pyramid of the Sun on the right and the, uh, the Pyramid of the Moon straight ahead. That area resembles the courtyard of the Vatican. Wow. The Vatican is so insane. It, it really, I didn't know. I knew that it had a lot of art, mm-hmm. I didn't know. It's it outrageous. Did, when you go to St. Peter's Basilica, you're just like, what? <laughs> <I know. laughs> what did you do? Yeah. How did yeah. you do How much time did this take? Yeah. This is so intricate and yeah. so incredible. I know. It's one of the most spectacular things I think I've ever seen in my life in terms of like what human beings can do mm-hmm. with ingenuity and time and artisans and yep. craftsmen and people that artisans that just create the most insane ceiling yeah. you've ever seen in your life. Right. So intricate. Yeah. I mean, and perfect for a house of worship because you mm-hmm. walk in there and you believe in God, like yeah. immediately. Right. Like, <laughs> like how, this is obviously how a grand shrine this is. to God. Yeah. Right, exactly. And the fact that they did it for so long, it took yeah. hundreds of years to make that place. I know. It's incredible. It's so amazing. It lets you know that the time periods where people would operate within a golden age in certain regions of the planet and have time to do that type of extensive right. art and craft right. and, and, and beauty, create that kind of beauty. Right. And the only way you do that is when you got your resources covered and your army strong. That's it. And that was Rome. Yep. I mean, that's that's what they were back then. They tried to take over the world. Yeah. And, and the thing about what they what they have is they don't have to kind of tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so if they do, like there's yeah. archives that they have in Rome that haven't been searched like mm-hmm. we're not they're not just opening them up to everyone right so that everyone could look in and see what they have so there's yeah. always been speculation that they have some wild shit written down in there yeah some wild stuff i mean they're investigating aliens you know right i mean one of the pope's uh, uh most recent a- astronomers speeches. you know they were talking about years ago though they were talking about years ago that they wanted to the pope wanted to baptize the first alien <laughs> now that's incredible that's an incredible statement <laughs> That'd be like turning Michio Kaku into a Scientologist. Right? <laughs> right? It's like, that would be hilarious. I know. That would be hilarious. And then they built this telescope called Lucifer to look for alien life. That's not a good name. Yeah. It's, you would think of anybody who would know better. Right. The light bearers, the, you know, what Lucifer means, supposedly. But, yeah, they built a telescope named Lucifer. Right. But the swastika used to be a sign of peace. <laughs> right. You can't true. really use it anymore. No, you can't use it anymore. I know. I know. <laughs> you they, know it's- Eh, Somebody, you know. It's like things can be stolen yeah. forever. No one's rocking that Hitler no, mustache. That's not, a wrap. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> the Hitler mustache is over. <laughs> no one's getting called Adolf. That's over. That's over. You yeah, can, those, uh, that, uh, that it's a wrap. So I, yeah. I guess they, 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 they didn't want to you know, cut that name loose, but they utilized that name for that, the name of that. And it's actually in America. I believe it's in Arizona. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Wow. Lucifer yeah. telescope. How yeah. kooky. I know. All of the telescopes are f- fascinating. 